ASP.NET Web Forms Master Pages. This video lecture will introduce you to the concept of templating with master pages and walk you through their use in an ASP.NET Web Forms application. ASP.NET Web Forms applications utilize master templates, which are a centralized file where you can manage the header, footer, and body of your site all in one place. Every active server page you create is rendered within this master template through a content placeholder tag. The final rendered HTML of the page is a combination of the master template and the active server page. The master page contains the HTML, head, and body tags that will be rendered out to for the final HTML document. The master page can also include server site code, user controls, and server controls allowing dynamic content. Let's dive in and take a look at a master template. So the first line in the master template file will be the master declaration. This declaration not only declares this page to be a master template file, but also defines the code behind and the code behind class name that this page inherits from. This allows us to create server controls with server events on this page, as well as interact with server site objects, such as page. So for example, the title meta tag is rendered out with some server site code that gets the title property from the page object. We have access to this page object because we inherit from the site master class that is in the code behind file. And if I go view code, you can see that the code behind site.master.cs contains a site master class that inherits from master page. The master template contains a form tag. This form tag has the run at equals server attribute, which can be placed on any traditional client side tag to make it a server control. In web forms, the form tag is reserved for server interactions. So this is something to be aware of. If you get a third party block of code, say from a newsletter signup that has a form tag in it, you will not be able to reliably use this in an active server page. You will run into the issue of a form within a form and functionality can break on the page. So let's scroll down a little bit. And here is a server tag called login view a server control. This gives us a template that we can use for users that are not logged in and users that are. Now notice the login status control here in the logged in template. This code has an event defined in the code behind for on logging out. If we go to the code behind for the master template, you can see that this method, unnamed logging out, is performing some sign out logic. So back to the master template. 
And here we can see the content placeholder that will render out the ASPX page within the master template for the page that the user is on. And down in the footer here is some more server side code that is getting the current year from the date time object. So the master template is a centralized file that defines the HTML template for the content of the pages to be rendered within. In the master template declaration, we define a code behind file as well as a class name for the code behind so that we have access to all of the objects in the code behind. The code behind approach in the master template that is also used in active server pages and user controls allows for a clean separation of presentation markup and page or application logic. In this video lecture, you were introduced to the concept of a master page and I walked you through its use in an ASP.NET web forms application. Thank you for listening.